it's that season again. It's time to do the DVD haul for September 2018. Um, where shall I begin? <laughs> we'll begin on the top. We'll always begin on the top. Okay, so. We actually have to begin up here now. So, we've got Game of Thrones Series 1 through to Series 5. And then we've got the Sarah Jane Adventures Series 1 and 2. Tenth Planet, Power of the Daleks. Uh, the Tomb of the Cybermen on the front there. Uh, the Moon Base, Spearhead from Space. Uh, the Time Warrior, the Hontaran Experiment, Pyramids of Mars. Shade of Steel Book, or Shadow, whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce the episode. Um, the Keeper of Trakan, or Trakan. Help me. No, I don't know. Um, what that is, Trakan, Trakan, I've seen it as well, and I saw it quite recently, so that's why I'm struggling, I don't know why I'm struggling to pronounce it, uh, Logopolis, Crystal Valva, Earthshock, Resurrection of the Daleks, Ark of Infinity, now I can stop saying weird Doctor Who titles, uh, uh, Series 1 through to Series 3, all on Steelbook now, which is great, it takes up less room on my shelf, so that's why I bought um, this box set, this new beginnings box set, um, because I had a bit of room in there. Uh, we've got Voyage of the Damned, we've got Series 4 in pieces, but I hope that they shall release a another one of these with Series 4 next year. Um, they might do, it's hopeful in it. Uh, the complete specials, so all of David Tennant's last episode, I suppose. Um, series 5, The Christmas Carol, Series 6. Series 7, The Day of the Doctor, the Time of the Doctor, 8, Last Christmas. Series 9, Husband's River Song, The Return of Dr. Mysterco, Series 10, and then Twice Upon a Time at the End there on Blu-ray. don't know why I decided to buy it on Blu-ray, to be honest. And the reason that I was holding out on doing this until today, which is the day it shall be released, hopefully, um, is that... The Avengers Infinity War just came out on Blu-ray today, and I well, I sent my dad to come buy it um, really early this morning. Um, right, so, the complete collection of Marvel Cinematic Universe is not actually completed yet, because I haven't got um, Hulk, uh, the Incredible Hulk in here yet. But I shall do, it's just really expensive, compared to it's not the most popular story. Uh, of the universe, they do still charge like six quid for it, and it is ten years old now, and they don't charge that much for Iron Man, so I I don't understand why. Right, so Iron Man, Iron Man Two, Thor, Captain America: The First Avenger, Avengers Assemble, Iron Man Three, Thor: The Dark World, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers: Age of Ultron, Ant Man, Civil War. Doctor Strange, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, and then finally, the big one, Avengers Infinity War. Which is just an amazing Blu-ray. Okay, now that we've done this shelf, let's go in down blue. We got The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, The Desolation of Smog, and The Battle of the Five Armies. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, The Lord of the Rings Extended, Indiana Jones 1 through to 3, and then bonus material, and then Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Rogue One, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Batman Begins, Batman The Dark Knight, or just The Dark Knight, and it's not Batman, um, Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Jurassic World, Baby Driver, The Musketeers, 1, 2, 3, which needs 
sorting because otherwise it's going to fall and break because there's an angle in a minute. Um, Primeval Series 1 through to Series 5. Why does that look so much bigger than the other two? I don't understand. Uh, Sherlock Series 1 through to 3. Four trans. Former movie collection, which I'm not even quite sure is even an actual licensed product. It just there's something about that that just makes me think this is a knockoff. But they all work, so and see, I'm just gonna put that to the side because that won't go in. Uh, the Walking Dead series seven and Legends of Tomorrow the second series and then at the end back in the blockbuster days they used to sell rental copies um, after a while and I think when the blockbusters where I live was closing I think I went in and bought loads of DVDs but as I was a child I basically bought The Incredibles and uh, I think I bought Avengers Assemble as well So Merlin series one through to series five. A ton of Spider Man. Spider Man one, Spider Man two, Spider Man three, The Amazing Spider Man, The Amazing Spider Man Two, X Men Apocalypse, X Men First Class, X Men Days of Future Past, they're all in the wrong order, but who cares? X Men, X Men Two, Wolverine, Deadpool, Logan and Hush. slowly it will be joined by Deadpool Two. Torchwood series one through to Four, which is Children of Earth and the Miracle Day, Class, Arrow, Invasion, which is the DC crossover thing, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and because it don't it doesn't fit, it can't, they can't go together. Um, Kingsman, Secret Service, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, The Pirates of the Caribbean films, one through to five. So there we go. pretty cool doesn't it so hopefully you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a like if you did and i shall see you in the next video goodbye